Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Craft Me video for hashtag 13 collab. It's an open collaboration hosted by my bestie, Crystal, who is vividly on paper here on YouTube. I will link her original video down below if you are interested in joining us and you'd like some more details. But in a nutshell, she just wants us to post a video on the 13th of every month that's related to Halloween or that's horror or spooky related. It doesn't have to be crafts. It doesn't have to be paper crafts. Review a movie that you like for example. It can be anything as long as it's related to Halloween and a video is posted on the 13th. I first joined this collab in March when I made some Halloween pokey tools and then last month I was just so busy and I couldn't get my stuff together to get a video out unfortunately so kind of dropped the ball in April but so for May I definitely wanted to get something together and prepare myself to get a video out because one I really want to show support to my girl Crystal. Also, she's allowing me to craft for Halloween, <laughs> which as you guys know is my favorite holiday. So this has been super, super fun. So for this month's video, I have these shaker strip embellishments that I made. I recently hauled these adhesive label holders from Dollar Tree. And when I saw them, I thought they would make really cute shaker embellishments because they do have a little pocket on the side where you can stick some bits in. They're adhesive, so they'll stick on paper really well. And so this is the finished project. The stuff that I use, so the papers that I used comes from one of my favorite collections, which is Beautiful Night by American Crafts. Absolutely love this paper pad. As you can see, it's been lovingly used. <laughs> I also decided to use the Karen Fila Witches Please Clip Art, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know I absolutely love these girls. I've used them on multiple projects. So I thought it'd be cute to combine that with the Beautiful Night collection. I also decided to use the Ghosty that we all were going mental over. <laughs> in the Dollar Tree stickers last year. Of course, some of us couldn't find them, but I did find a digital collection, so I decided to use that as well. And then I have some mesh here and a polymer clay bit that's just like a Ouija planchette. I use some black star sequins, and I have these resin bows that I recently hauled from AliExpress. I also have a star eyelet, a gold jump ring, and this cute little ghosty charm, all from AliExpress. And even though I was able to get the bits in, it doesn't shake very well, there's not much room, but you can see the bits there. So what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm actually going to recreate this one because again, this is the finished project and so I kinda of wanna recreate this one. I also am gonna be creating three more because the Karen Fila file comes with four different girls. I wanted to use all of them. So I kinda of have everything all sorted and set up, ready to go. I have the mesh cut out, I have the papers, the charms, the eyelets, jump rings, all that. So, like I said, I'm gonna start by recreating this one. So, what I'm gonna need is the paper and the adhesive label holder. So, they are, there is an adhesive on the back, it's not super strong. So, I'm gonna be using the Barely Art Glue, which I actually won in a giveaway once, I remember. And I forgot about it. <laughs> and so I'm going to just use a little bit of that. And then I'll get the label. And I'm just going to kind of line it up as best I can. The great thing about this glue, I'm told, is that it dries clear. And it's super strong. So. I really like this glue. I think a lot of people like this glue. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just cut off the excess. There we go. So here is a sequin mix that I have already put together. So before I start putting the little sequins in, I'm actually gonna fuse it on the one side because I don't want any of the bits to fall out. 
So I'm using my fuse tool. You can probably stitch around it to seal it shut, but I've mentioned before, I don't know how to use my sewing machine, so. <laughs> and the fuse tool works really well because it is plastic, these label holders. Okay, so. I got my little shovel. I'm just going to gather a little bit. They're rather small, so they don't really require too many. So here's a little pocket. I'm just going to shove some of these in here. So here are my bits, and like I said, it does have a little pocket, but there's not a whole lot of room, so it doesn't shake very well, as you can see. It, it doesn't really make that satisfying, shaky sound, but here are the bits in there anyway. So now I'm just going to fuse it shut on the other side so that everything is contained. There you go. So give it one good shake. Make sure we don't lose any of them. Awesome. Good to go. Okay. Okay. So before I start layering things up, I'm going to actually punch the hole first so I know it's there. So I'm going to use my crop a dial and I'm going to use the bigger size, which I'm just going to punch a hole on the side here just so I get it ready for the eyelet is basically what I'm getting ready for. So now we can start decorating. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my little container of goodies. The first thing we have is the mesh. This is something I got from AliExpress. I got different colors. This one is the kind of darker pink and it's the first layer we're gonna have here. And then we have the spider web that I'm going to put in the corner here. And then I have the little girl. I have a pumpkin, it's a trick or treat. And then we have the little kitty cat. And then I need tombstone and the ghosty that's going to go behind that. Then I need the lollipop. And then we have a piece of candy. And then the resin bow. So that's pretty much it. So let's put that together. So I have the mesh. I'm just going to put it down like so. And then I'm just going to start gluing on top of it. So I've got the spider web. And that's going to keep the mesh down. So. Next, I'll glue on the little girl. That. Then I've got this trick or treat pumpkin. And I got so I forgot to mention <laughs> that all of this ephemera is actually a digital collection so obviously you can fussy cut out from this paper pad but a lot of them were still too big for this small project. Thankfully, AC Digitals has the full collection of Beautiful Night. So you can buy that and download it and then just resize the ephemera as you would like. Okay, so 
So now I just need to slip this underneath. And I will have everything linked down below, all the collections I've used, um, the AliExpress supplies that I have. Because again, probably no surprise, most of the stuff does come from AliExpress. <laughs> okay. sequence stars. Then I have one of these tiny ones. And this tiny star. And I have the Luigi planchette. Which I put right oopsies, here. Go. It's coming together. And then I have an eyelid. So I'm going to actually have to cut a couple of slits in here just because these particular eyelets are rather large and this hole is just slightly too small. So this just allows me to get the eyelid in. That. And then, of course, I will use my crocodile. I love this thing. <laughs> my sister got it for me for my birthday one year. Absolutely love it. There we go. Okay. So here is embellishment number two. As you can see, came together pretty quickly. I think, again, it's just figuring out uh, the placement as well as the pieces that you want to use. So let's move on to the next one. So I have this polka dot paper. It's just the same as I did before. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. Do it twice. You can stick our little bits in. Do it a couple of times, and then again, just give it a good shake. There you go. 
And then again, before we start decorating, I just want to just move the sequin out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna punch the hole. There we go. Now we can get to decorating. So this time I have some orange mesh. And that's gonna go in the corner there. That's slightly too big, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I have, so it's gonna be similar to the other one. I pretty much decorated it very similar to each other. I have the back girl for this one. I have this haunted house. And then a tombstone. This pumpkin, or this jack o' lantern, I should say. I'm gonna include a little moon, and then a little spider, some candy, and then this word eek. This is the charm. And I have an iridescent resin bow that I think would be really cute with this one. So let's put this together. Because again, that's gonna go in the corner, just like the other ones. And then I'm going to figure out, I'm not making the same mistake I did last time, <laughs> figure out where these guys go first before I glue her down. I have the tombstone and I have a haunted house. Yeah, that's cute. That, okay. So I'll just move her away because these guys are going to be underneath her. So I'm just going to glue them down like this. Then we can work on the back girl. Cute. Okay. So all the ephemera I use is from Beautiful Night, except for the girls and well, some of the ghosties. Some of the ghosties do, do come from A Beautiful Night, but some of them come from that other digital collection I bought. And that will go right there. And then I have a spider. I think I'll have the spider just kind of uh, maybe going down like this on the tombstone. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I think that's just gonna go right there, actually. Okay. We got our little bow, and let's see. Where should we put this bow? Oh, that's cute right there. Yes, I like it there. Okay. There we go. Ah, so cute. Okay, let me shave this down a little bit so I'm gonna okay and we have our sequins I think one is good for that one and these little polymer clay bits I think spider would be cute yes and with these polymer clay bits, you can't use hot glue. It pops off. I know from experience. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Number two. Embellishment number three. So they are pretty similar, like I said. I figure you watch one embellishment, you pretty much know what the other embellishments are gonna look like, but 
I really enjoy doing these. So. So I'm going to put the tombstone down here this time. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put the ghosty on this side. Yeah, that's cute. I think I'll put that uh, over the ghosty, but underneath her broom. I'm going to put on this side here. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Of this cut apart here and I was thinking I might use one of these I think the orange is cute oh shoot I forgot to see this is what happens <laughs> I need to punch a hole so I know where this can go that's good I have one of these black bows, put it probably there, use the Ouija planchette for this one, so cute, they look like hearts, put in the corner here, And then for this one, I have this charm here, kind of like a voodoo jack-o'-lantern. I just saw that I left out the candies, so let me grab those. So embellishment number three. So let's just finish this video off with the last embellishment. So, the last one is actually purple. It doesn't really look purple. <laughs> Compared to the pinks, it looks purple. But anyway, like I said, I got this mesh in a number of different colors. I love these. Okay, so we got the little devil girl for our last embellishment. We're almost there. I'm just gonna slip. For the resin bow, I have the little beige one. And I think I'll just put that maybe up here this time. Yeah, that's cute. Mm. Okay, and then for the charm, I'm going with this little cauldron. I know I have these in gold, but I can't find them. So right now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to use a silver. There we go. So that is embellishment number four. The last thing I have left to do for all of them is to use some stickles. I like to do this at the very end because then I don't have to touch anything. And because you know, stickles takes a little bit of time to dry, but I really want to add a little bit of sparkle to my project. So 
but here are the four embellishments that we made today thank you so much for watching again i will link crystal's video down below please go check it out and check out all her other videos as well because i will link her channel down there as well and if you have any questions please leave them down below thank you so much for watching as always please stay safe please stay healthy and until next video have an awesome day talk to you soon bye for now